Hey, good morning, it's Lee here. I hope you're having a great start to your day. Today I want to talk about judgment. A uh, fairly important thing, I think, to just keep on top of mind. And it came to me this morning. I went down the back, fed the chooks, came back up, and I've got this rose bush out the front of my office, and I smelt the roses. I've got these two blooming roses at the moment, and they're just absolutely gorgeous. And it just took me back to a time when I was living in Japan in my early 20s, mid-20s, and I was living in rural uh, Japan in a town called Anakashi and down in the local um, neighboring suburb Matsuida there was this beautiful temple and I used to go there on a Sunday once a month and listen to the monk speak and on this one particular day I was sitting there on the floor and it was all in Japanese so I had to decipher it the best I could but he talked about um, this plant that was at the front of the temple and it was quite an ugly plant you know with thorns and spikes and you know, typically you wouldn't even take notice of it because of how it presents itself. But when it flowers, it's absolutely gorgeous. And that's what it just sort of triggered my memory this morning with that rose bush. Because you look at the rose bush, it's kind of very sticky. It's got thorns everywhere. Uh, not very attractive at all. But once those roses bloom, you've got that smell and aroma coming through too. It changes your perception of the plant. And I think that's what we need to keep in mind when we're judging others. And I think it's a famous quote, you know, expect to be judged how you judge others. And I think if you're judging others with criticism and condemnment, you will receive that back in return. I think that's like anything in life. The way you put yourself out there, you'll receive in return. Rather than with empathy and compassion, if you, if you put that forward to others with empathy and compassion, you should receive that in return too. And I'm a big believer in this sort of thing. So I think it's really important to keep in mind when you are at that point where you're about to judge someone maybe think about what is it you're judging them for and why and maybe seek to better understand and learn more about them before you make that assessment or that judgment because often like that rose bush some things may not look um, appealing they may look rough and nasty and mean and angry or whatever it might be but there might be another side to the story that we're not seeing and that's exactly what happens with that rose plant and what that monk was talking about at that temple that day you know, you walk out there and you have this perception of this bush just based on its appearance. But if you knew more about it, your perception can change. And I think that's a really powerful thought about judgment. Anyway, it's just something that I wanted to share with you. Hope you have an awesome day ahead and we'll chat soon.